These are not what you think they are, and that is the exact reason why these sell for so much money. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to talk about something that most people don't quite get when they see these. Now, this may not seem like much, this little box here. And what's in this box here? Let me show you that first before we talk about these. Now, it may not seem like much when you first look at it. It's just a little model car, a nondescript box. Sometimes like this one, it does have a label on it. This is made by Ertl as well, too, but these are actually car dealer demos, promos, given away to kids or owners of a car. Most of the good ones, the earlier ones, will say all the dimensions, wheelbase, engine size, and all the information lined up on the bottom of these. They just look like a normal toy to most people, and that's why most people don't get this aspect. It's not what you think. It's not made as a toy. It is literally a salesman sample, basically. It's an identical version of the exact same thing as the real car, the full-sized car. These have been made for probably a good hundred years in one way, shape, or form, maybe even longer than that. I've seen them back to the 1920s personally, in person. I found cases of these sometimes, and I actually have about 60 different Corvettes right now from a collection that we bought. The boxes are almost nearly identical. It depends on the year, though. They change them when the design of the car changed and it goes for any car now i've only personally seen u.s cars like this maybe they make them for other countries i don't honestly know but here in the u.s these turn up fairly often many times when i'm buying out an estate or something these will be mixed in with regular car models the older back you go to the more they look like car models that you would have bought at a store and just glued together we're going to hop over right now and show you some of the crazy prices these things can go for now, most items I sell, and especially toys and vintage models like this, age is always a factor in this specific area, this specific category. Usually the older ones, the better cars, will go for far more than any of the ones that you will find today, modern day ones. Like the Corvette I have here, I should get about 20, 25 bucks a piece for each one times 60. Now I got almost nothing into them. I bought them in a big box. They actually come in a case and there'll be hundreds of them in there, many times mixed with different colors. But usually all cases that I've ever found are the exact same car just different versions of that car. So here is a nice Chevy Imperial. And as you can see, the box is basically the same thing. Someone has just written by hand what's in it. Most of the boxes did not say. They were generic the farther back you go, just a plain old box, all identical in size and shape to each other one. This is a shrunken down version of the actual car, basically. Every little detail most of these will have, they're finely done. They're proportionally correct to the real thing as well. $617. And this is an early one, so that's why it went for more. Plus, it's a well-sought-after car. It has fins. Anything with fins will go for a ton of money. A 57 Chevy finned out on the back. Nice two-tone. That would go for a fortune if you run into one of those. Now, this is a holy grail for anybody who collects dealer promos. The Pontiac GTO. Hard top as well. Very nice one. Now, I'm very fond of this car, so the front of this thing is just spectacular in my book. It's a work of art in my book. The Pontiac GTO is just a screamer. If you're a car guy like me, this is fantastic. $611 for this classic. The more sought after the actual car is, the more sought after the model, the dealer promo will be. Here's a 66 Barracuda, the same basic thing. Everybody wants a Barracuda as well. $585 for this one. Now, like many other items I talk about, this has multi-category interest. People who don't collect models but yet have the car will want this. People who don't have the car or don't collect models may still want it because they can't afford the real thing. This is a dealer promo. It goes along with the advertising booklets and brochures for this exact same car. So if somebody's collecting all the advertising pieces from a specific car, this would be included with it. So it's an excellent item here, as you can see. Almost $600 like the other two we just showed you. 
Now, like the first Imperial we showed you, this one is a convertible. Spectacular one here. These are all dealer promo, dealer models. You can always tell by the boxes. If this was made for a toy store, it would have graphics on it. That's the difference, and that's why most people don't think much of these. A lot of these sorts, the only way you could get them is from the dealership. If you didn't go to the dealership, you weren't interested in actually buying a car, you weren't getting one of these. These are limited in production, obviously, as well, not like the AMT models and such forth that are mass-produced. Here's another Imperial. Just to give you an idea, this is one of the hottest ones right now. The fins are what sells these in my book. Everybody wants one of these. Again, the highest price ones up here, the Imperial. So if you got a chance to pick one or the other, pick the Imperial here. A T-Bird would be crazy insane as well, too. 550 bucks. Here's a 66 Plymouth Fury in purple. Spectacular one here for $510. Now, cars like this, the cars were limited in production on many of these, especially in a specific color. The same thing goes for the models. Why make a bunch of extra models for something that you only have so many cars of in the first place? This is an advertising piece. So some of these cars were almost impossible to even get from a dealership. So that's why some of these are so hot. Going for 510 on this one as well. Here's a 65 Buick Riviera. Now, I'm a Buick person, so this is right up my line. I had a 78 Buick Regal for quite some time. Loved that car. So 460 bucks on this one. Now, white isn't the most popular, so it still went for good money. All of these sorts of cars in real life, as I said, are highly collectible. Hence, the price on the promos will be high as well. Here's a 64 Mercury Comet. Now, this is typical of what you'll find in the color scheme on some of the models from this time frame. This is the green version of it. They've got Caliente green. Now, even if you don't have the box, they still sell in this price range. The box adds some value to it, but not as much as you would think if it was like, say, a store-bought one with graphics all over it. They want to display the car. The box is fairly plain. Of course, you want to get the box, but everybody's going to grab it up either way box or not if it's the right car here's a real nice 1970 dodge charger rt my neighbor when i grew up had one of these with the white stripes and the black base color awesome car if you've ever been in one of these or hauling it down the street fabulous this one went for 450 bucks because of the model because of the type of the car everybody wants one of these for sure if you're into old cars this is on the list of i would love to have in my book Another Pontiac GTO convertible here. Again, same basic front grille, just a spectacular car. They have the box, as you can see. Real nice one without a doubt. 435 bucks on this spectacular piece. Here's another Barracuda from 1970 in red. Very nice car, of course. $418 and some change. These all have multiple bids. These are typically what these cars go for. We ourselves have had many of these that sold into the hundreds, without a doubt. Sometimes I can buy them in a bulk lot of junked out toy models and have some of these in there. Even if they're damaged, people will repair them to have some rare classic car promo in their collection. Sometimes it's the only way they can afford to get one. So I don't even care if there's damage to these. I can still sell them for some good money now here's an interesting one this is a pretty old one it's made out of metal the plastic ones are usually the ones that everybody wants some of these early metal ones though can go for some crazy prices also thousands of dollars especially if it's 1920s era cars with all the details graphics many of the earlier ones all of the mechanics basically work like the doors open trunks open things spin steering wheel turns and things like that it's literally an identical replica basically of the car the farther back you go with some of the deluxe ones it was truly a dealer's salesman sample back in the original days of this one this is a more mass produced not a very highly collected car which is why it only went for 190 bucks on this one now here's a Studebaker Lark. This is typically the type and range and price what most people find. 50 to say 80, 90 bucks is about average for most of the ones that you will turn up. But again, you're not paying much for them most of the time because most people don't know that it's a promo, especially when there's no box for it. It just looks like a toy to somebody else or a plastic model. Many people assume they didn't make stuff like that farther back, so it might just be lumped in with newer stuff, which is how I find them too. I find 
find them all over the place. Flea markets, estate sales, local auctions, garage sales, Craigslist I've bought them on back in the past. All over the place you can turn these up. Antique malls even, I've turned up some of these mixed in with toy cars. Now, one more area in these models are the displays that were made to hang at a dealership. It's a dissected version. It's half of one of those models cut down the sides and then mounted on here. One thing you do have to be careful, though, I've seen people trying to fake these out. They'll cut some of these in half and mount them on there. Why would that be? Because they run for $1,400 many times if you get the right one. It's got a nice selection. The Corvette on the top, obviously, is one of the main reasons this one goes for so much money. There's many versions of this as well, so they don't have to be in the same order. They don't even have to include the same cars or even the same color. Here's another one with a mix of them as well. Basically the same cars here. Color scheme may be a little different there, but still, same basic principle, $1,300 on this one. It's just basically showing the main models that they have coming out, being mounted on the wall. Most dealerships would have only got one of these, so these are far scarcer than the models themselves, by far, any day of the week. This is a pretty nice one as well. Again, it depends on the type of car, the year of the car as well, the dealership and all. So it's still a nice one here. Somebody would be glad to add this to their collection. There's so many different versions of this, but these are all super scarce. This one only went for $404 because of the car itself. Now this one could have sold for far more possibly if they listed it as a buy it now bin with BO a best offer and tried it that way with a high price listed on it. But anyway, that's what I have for you today. Well, there you have it. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. Take your old wheels. Trade in any used or broken car and cut the price to 59 cents for a 71 Superfast. Superfast. Buy Matchbox.